guys, what's going on? Welcome to Serial at Midnight. My name is Heath. And I'm Bree. And it is time for another uh, male video. This is my this is my exercise uh -huh. for the day. Yeah. Just These, sit and do some curls with those. That's right. Yeah. The, <laughs> work, work my guns for the camera. <laughs> These are the packages that have been sent to us by you guys, mm -hmm, the Serial at Midnight community. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So we have been stockpiling them for this for video. For this very moment. So we're going to get started on these. Um, the first one comes from our, our pal Art. Art mm -hmm. has always looked out for us like at the Dollar Tree and stuff. You know, mm -hmm. all these cool movies show up in different regions of yeah. the United States. Right. Um, we don't get a lot here. Mm -hmm. And people will be like, hey, hey, man, time to check your Dollar Tree. Movies, yeah. new movies have hit. And I go and, and it's go like and it's nothing. <laughs> nothing. Mm -hmm. So I know there was one in here that he had I had asked him to look for. But I think oh, he threw nice. some other stuff in here. So. Um, let's see. Let's see what it is. So I'm just going to reach in. We got three movies. Nice. Ocean Odyssey, The Blue Realm. Well, this looks cool. Um, this is a multi episode. Look how pretty. It is pretty. Three Blu ray nice. sets about the ocean. Nice. That's, that's, yeah. That's really cool. That is really cool. This would be like a good soothing um, downtime watch yeah. or something. We just put it on. It's yeah. Like, and we can, and the cats can watch it. And <laughs> yes, absolutely. We'll all just relax and watch the ocean stuff. That's right. Yeah. Next is oh, this is the oh, one that nice. I was so. That's this perfect. is the one I requested he look out for that he found for me. It's Route sixty six marathon tour Chicago to Los Angeles. Now Route sixty six, it is is so fabulous. This is a three Blu Ray set mm -hmm. um, chronicling the entire. Look, there's the Gemini Giant. There's oh, wow. the, there's the TCL. The is it TCL? TLC? The TCL theater. There. We have so we have we have driven the entirety of Route 66 mm -hmm. from Chicago all the way to the Santa Monica Pier. That's right. Route 66 is special for us. This is one of those things. This was like it's it's one of those life events, right? Yeah, like really. when you drive Route 66, you never forget it. No. And I have such a um, nostalgia is yeah. not even the right word. A and connection, an affection. a deep affection mm -hmm. for Route 66 for the for Backroads America. Yeah. And uh, I was so excited when I heard that people were finding this. And, mm -hmm. of course, we did not have it. I checked. Yeah. Our Dollar Tree did not have it. But Art found now it for us. Do. And I am so... <laughs> Art, Art, man, I am so grateful. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. There's one more in here. What do we have? Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's our backyard. It is. It's <laughs> Raccoon Nation. Um, wow. So this is what a documentary. Is it? A 60 is it a minute... documentary about raccoons? Yes. That's fabulous. From, we from were PBS. just talking about raccoons the other day. It was Christmas, yeah, Christmas, it was Christmas Eve night. Eve because we, <laughs> we see them around our house so often. It's true. Yeah. They're troublemakers, but they're very cute. They're adorable. So it's hard to, it's hard I mean, to stay at mad at the guy raccoons. Look at this little hanging. You got to you... lean into the light. Okay, got it. There we go. Yeah. You guys see the hanging <laughs> raccoon? He's just hanging around. He's just hanging. He's on a steering wheel. Oh my goodness. <laughs> He's hanging from a steering wheel. Can you... Like, what in the world? Maybe okay, he well, is driving Route 66. Oh, yeah. That's the connection. <laughs> he's mm -hmm. he's mm -hmm. somewhere around he's friends Gallup. With, yeah. friends with Toonses. <laughs> this is a Saturday Night Live deep cut. Wow. <laughs> Toots is the cat. Going back to like 1989, mm -hmm. 1990 mm -hmm. era Saturday That's Night right. Live. Respect Bree. Thanks. Well, I can't wait to watch those. All three of these yeah. are solid winners. Art, thank you so much, man. Everybody check out Art's channel. I'm going to put all those information on the screen. Uh, but uh, this is this is the community mm -hmm. looking out for one another, and I, I really appreciate it. Okay, I pass those to you. Yep. Okay. Well, then. I was just noticing, by the way, I know we were done with this one, but I noticed PBS, and I do love... We love PBS. Pretty much anything PBS. We are PBS contributors. <laughs> we are. We are. No, we donate to PBS. Okay, so this comes from MJ. Now, I, I can't. Mary I don't. Jane? It comes from Mary Jane. Matter of fact, if it was, <laughs> I'm gonna bust out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You brought a smaller, safer knife just I did. in case. I, I see. did. Just in case. I don't know that we'll need it because I yeah. like to open things like this. Right. But that what does if, look a bit dangerous. What if the video just ended and it was like he had an accident and we had to stop the video? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna cut, hand that off to it you. It just cuts to static. <laughs> Beep. <laughs> Oh, I know who this is from. I know who this is from. This is, um, oh, I don't know how, if names, if I'm supposed to be putting names up here. So then don't, but you can just say, you know, who it's this from is the thing we you. have explanations for. I told you we had an oh, explanation right. yeah, for. Yeah, yeah. So this was, um, I believe it was a Spanish bootleg. I think is what it was. So it's, um, uh, hidden occulto, the hidden. Mm hmm. Is that Spanish? Oculto? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Oculto. So, uh, this is a, okay. 1987 movie. 
Uh, Kyle McLaughlin. I don't think I've ever seen this. Have you guys ever seen this? I don't think I've ever heard of it. So I mean, that doesn't mean much. But right, right, right. <laughs> There's so many things out there. Oh wow, it's got like reversible artwork. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, it is. Oh wow. Holy cow! That's okay. a high quality. I mean, I think this is a bootleg. Maybe it's not. I can't remember. You have the. Um, you have that information. I had passed that information on to you, but I can't mm -hmm. remember off the top of my head. Well, and I can't remember off the top of my head where that information is. So this is not a boot. Okay, <laughs> this is not a bootleg. Helpful. This is this is pressed. This okay. is a pressed Blu-ray okay, disc. If it were a, if it was a bootleg, that this would be, be super very high well quality. Done. Yeah, like I wow. Just, I, so I know one of these things was supposed. If, if oh, okay. I'm remembering correctly, one of them is. Okay, um, there's this. Dragon Ball Z Super. Well, it's just Dragon Ball Super. So I've seen none of the Super stuff. This is set number four. I am a Dragon. Mm -hmm. You guys can see. I think it's right there. There's my Dragon Ball Z yeah, collection. I, I think I've got the like first Dragon Ball Z. first five season sets. Mm -hmm. um, this is uh, episodes 40 through 52 of Dragon Ball Super. It's, I believe that's Trunks on the cover, looking pretty sweet there. Um, this is awesome. Thank you, MJ. Mm -hmm. We got more. Yeah. Okay. Three more. Ooh, Charles Bronson, Cold Sweat. <laughs> Um, who is this from? This is DVD video disc. This might be the bootleg. This looks yeah. perhaps bootleg. Okay, this yes. is the, 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 yes. So Bronson, let's see, Liv Ullman, James, James Mason. Uh, that's, that's more Orson Welles than James. James this, Mason. James Mason. Is he related Ma to Jamie Mason? Same, one and the same. Mm -hmm. One and the same. <laughs> oh. Yes, James Mason is one of our Patreon supporters and closest uh, friends and contributors. Jill <laughs> Ireland as well. Uh, this is pretty sweet, sweetly done though. This is mm -hmm. um, the artwork and everything. I love me some Bronson. Uh, we've been getting a fair amount of Bronson on Blu-ray lately, which is mm -hmm. nice. There was a Mill Creek four pack with some of the stuff that been Twilight Time releases previously. Mm -hmm. If you guys have seen those, okay. All right. Nice Conquest Blue Underground. I know that uh, who who just released this was it Code Red. Just got a Blu-ray of this. Mountain Dew. Um, Code Red Mountain Dew, Mountain Dew <laughs> Code Red released the Blu-ray of Conquest. This is a Fulci film. Um, and if you haven't seen it, it's who it's like a dream. It's Italian. Lu right. Lucio Fulci is Italian. It's an Italian yeah. film, and it's got that dreamlike quality. But it's just very. So this lady is. Um, Th that's it. That's how she's dressed for the entire movie. Mm -hmm. um, this is it's it's just very. How do you describe Conquest to somebody? Because I know there are going to be people in yeah. the audience who haven't seen Conquest. Hmm. It's very it's a it's a sword and sorcery movie, but it's stream of consciousness almost. It is mm. like a dream. It is, is deliberately. It surreal? Is it very surreal? It is surreal. It is it is intended to play like a dream. Okay. That goes into nightmare and then drifts back yeah. into like it's not logical. Right. Um. But as an experiment, as a Fulci fan, it's it's really cool. So mm -hmm. this is exciting to have. This is the uh, the Blue Underground DVD, and it's still sealed, which is kind of crazy. Wow. Um. And this is the thing, okay, so I remember talking to MJ about this, and he reached out, I did a Fox Film Noir video here on the channel, sorry, Fox Film Nah video, <laughs> here on the channel, and there were a few that, I, I had six that I was missing, and one by one, I've been chipping the, ch checking, I've been, che yeah. been checking those off the list, mm -hmm. and MJ offered to send me this, just out of the kindness so nice. of, yes, mm -hmm. and I covered, I did pay shipping on this, but I don't think shipping covered everything he sent, it was just... But mm -hmm. this, you guys, this, you haven't seen all of them yet, but this completes my Fox Film Noir collection. This is Yay. the last one that I've received, and this is the last one that I needed, so we're going to have That's to do exciting. it. It is super exciting. I've been collecting that line for years mm -hmm. now, um, and I have finally completed the entire 20, I think it's 26 releases. Wow. might have been 24. I can't. I think it was 26. But um, we're going to have to do a, an update video about mm -hmm. the Fox Film Noir collection. <laughs> So, it's so nice when people help with things like it that. It is wonderful when people help. That is the community that we, I just, it makes me, we have such kind hearted, mm -hmm. generous, uh, they're not Thoughtful. fans, they're friends. Mm -hmm. People sometimes be like, I'm a fan. They're like, you're not a fan, you're a friend. We don't mm -hmm. have fans, we have friends. That's right. And we appreciate you. So this is, this is actually really wonderful. Thank you so much. Nice. This is, uh, wow, what a, here, let me. It's quite. What a haul. Mm -hmm. What a lovely, what, what yeah. a lovely day. That's right. <laughs> The you next need to one. Open the next one. That's a little small. So. Yeah, this is anonymous. So this I is sent anonymous, but I'm looking at um, I'm looking at the postal address, uh -huh. and I think I might know what's in here because that same postmark came. Um, I don't know. I think it was either in the last mail video or the one before that, mm -hmm. where we someone sent us some 
burned movies, just discs, burned uh-huh. discs. Oh, right. Yeah, there were yeah, some, yeah. there were some mature viewers things <laughs> in that. <laughs> for that mature audiences. They were watching out for us. They wanted to make sure we had all our bases covered. Mm-hmm. By the way, I want to point out, I said this was small and I don't mean anything by it. I just meant like, you should Dimension use that wise. enormous knife to open this small box i mean i don't i don't understand why <laughs> oh there's packing what are you peanuts. saying oh it's it's burned discs <laughs> so the okay. question but be- oh there's packing peanuts inside too so the question becomes oh look here's yeah there's more i was gonna covers. get it i'm sorry okay mummy's hand mummy's tomb mummy's ghost and the mummy's mm-hmm. curse and this is herm's dvd who is who is herm because we don't know who sent this this was sent anonymously and they mm-hmm. want to remain anonymous mm-hmm. Dracula 1931 with music score Sven Gulli presents so we've got some Sven Gulli on disc that's mm-hmm. nice yes Peter Cushing and Christopher Lee mm-hmm. in Amicus's Dr. Terror mm-hmm. uh, Dr. Terror's House of Horrors so this is all what it's you a just digest version so he, okay so what's what's important to note out is that to note is that whoever is sending these these are not necessarily the discs that we have nice restored blu-rays of these are going to be uh, syndicated versions, uh-huh. digest versions, Svengooly mm-hmm. versions. These mm-hmm. are going to be like late night horror pre- presentations. Right. Those are fun. Yes. So Tarantula, Svengooly Presents. Whoever sent this, if you're watching this video, I would love to know who you are just so I could thank you and just so I, you know, just so I know who you are. That'd be mm-hmm. nice. You can send a DM. It'd be nice <laughs> if I knew who you were. Not a stranger. The mole people, Spangoli. I mean, they, they, look, they took the time to like the to do art the write, and stuff. The writing is nice. Can I hand these to you? Sure. Just yeah, I got it. Gingerly. Oh, Spangoli presents Monster on Campus, another movie that just came out from Scream Factory this year, I believe. You yeah. Didn't mean both of <laughs> okay. Okay. Wait. This one. I've got myself in trouble now you because have. I'm like, uh. Okay. Okay. Um, without warning. There's without warning. Whoa. King's DVD, The Blackula Saga. <laughs> the Blackula... Blackula Saga. Okay, this one is blank, so... It's a surprise. It's a surprise. Oh, hold on. It's in oh. the middle. It's in the... Oh. Humanoids from the Deep. Oh, I like that. Roger Corman produced Humanoids mm-hmm. from the Deep. I like that one. Okay. I'm trying to help. I appreciate Let it. Let me help. Um, okay, this is This Island Earth, the, uh, the Svengulli presentation. Mm-hmm. Uh, Blood Island digests. So those mm-hmm. are digest versions of Blood Island. Beyond Atlantis, full screen. I got it. Okay. Godzilla versus Mecha Godzilla, 1973. Dr. Terrible's. No, no, that's not it. We already did that one. Terror of Mecha Godzilla, mm-hmm. uncut. Nice. Nice. Oh. Um, and Wrecked. I'm, just, I'm looking at it. This is a Blu ray. Hmm. Wow. I don't know. I'm not familiar with this movie off the top of my head. I'm going to have to look it up as soon as we are finished. This is a 2011 IFC Theaters limited release, it looks like. Hmm. Whoever you are, thank you. Thank you. See, I just wish I knew. I know. You like to thank people personally. I'm not going to blast it's, I'm not going to blast your information all over YouTube. I just kind of want to know who you are so I can mm-hmm. thank you personally and maybe send you a message to say thank you. Okay. Um Let's see. This Just a few more. I think this is one of the ones that came the earliest. So oh, here I'll put that. Do you know who and this we don't, is? No, it's very lightweight. It has no. It had no return. Maybe there's a note inside. I see a toy. Is that a toy? Like yes, I believe so. Is there a note or anything? I'm looking. Tonto, right, 1973. Hold up. Tonto, 1973. Oh wow. Here's a stand. I assume. Okay. Does that go with him? There's another thing in Here's there, a too, note. That we might... have a note. Oh, we do have a note. Nice. Okay. Oh, it's from Matt. Okay, hold on. Let's see. Had these laying around. I thought of your channel. A vintage Tonto from the Lone Ranger 1973 toy line. The previous owner glued his hands, so be careful. Oh, no. He displays really well with that classic antique vibe. I also threw in Wolverine because why not? Hope you enjoy them. Would love to see a video about the 80s ninja craze one day. Best wishes. Matt. Uh, almost, <laughs> almost said Matt's last name. Matt. Um, Matt, that is awesome. So that, that would be a cool idea. Oh, there's no Tonto in here. You must have Tonto. You have oh, no, there's Tonto. There's okay. Tonto. Yeah. Um, I would like to do a ninja video because there's so much ninja stuff um, that I you know, there's the, the three ninja movies from from Sorry. Canon. That's no, okay. <laughs> there's the three ninja movies from Canon. Uh, the yeah, Franco Nero. The oh, Show There's the uh, the there's Ninja TV series. There's oh my goodness, he's beautiful. 
Um, I know a thing or two about you the do. 80s ninja craze. You do. Um, okay, guys, this is Tonto from 1973. This is gorgeous. Wow. It looks pretty good. Zilla needs some little stitching help on his... Well, you, we can't. Best, we but... can't. We can't do anything about that. We can't alter it. <laughs> yeah, well, that's so. You, there's just a little bit of stitch, un, unstitching coming but off. But otherwise, on he the, looks. Uh, he's in great. He's shape. He's in great shape. Yeah. yeah. Stunning. Cool. Absolutely stunning. Very cool. And I'm guessing, like, are these his? I'm gonna put him back away. Yeah. So we have here's oh, here's pants. Okay. He has uh -huh. he has pants. I feel a little bit like Toy Poloi doing this. Do you guys watch Toy Poloi? I feel a little bit. Oh, here's his, oh, his uh, nice. moccasin, not a moccasin, buckskin shirt. Yeah, I was going to say moccasins are shoes, Moccasins right? are shoes, yeah. So he's got his clothes. And then here, it, oh, here's accessories. Hold on. Will you hold oh, the... Oh, sure. Um, Matt, thank you so much. This yeah. is huge. This is absolutely huge. So, wow, there's a there's two different rifles. Mm -hmm. Which is, I want to make, there's a, there's a Burt Reynolds, Raquel Welch, Jim Brown movie called 100 Rifles. This is 98 rifles away from... <laughs> rifles. It's a great movie. Um, I'm not going to take these out, but you guys can hopefully see them. We have mm -hmm. a, a like a white ivory looking rifle, and then we have a woodstock rifle. Mm -hmm. I'm going to carefully okay. button that back up. This is uh, from the Marvel Legends line, it looks like. Do we have a year? Yes, we do. This is Marvel 2017. Okay. Okay. So... There's cool. Wolverine, and he's, he's got accessories as well. So we've got oh, nice. changeable hands. Mm -hmm. we, so we've got a hand with the, the, mm -hmm. the two claws, and we've got a katana. So Very cool. Very, very cool. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Matt. Wow. Yeah, thank you. So this I is the second it. to last one. Let's start with this one. You, you okay. want me to open it? Whatever you want to do. Well, no, we'll use that. Okay, all right. You do that with a lot of caution. Well, we've got a note. I don't want to tear up whatever's in there or We have whatnot. a note. We do have a note. Okay, um, this is a... I point out, I just closed the knife up. Okay, this is a three-page note, so we will be back in a moment. So this package comes from Perry Fan, uh, one of our uh, very um, active. active member of our community, mm -hmm. posting a lot on our videos, yeah. and always so, so supportive. Mm -hmm. So we gather there's some books in here, and then there's yeah. a second package here, but um, so some of the... Oh, wow. Roseanne Cash, Compose. You guys know I'm a huge Johnny Cash fan. I also like Roseanne Cash. I have several of her um, her uh, albums mm -hmm. of vinyl. vinyl. Right. Um, wow, this is fantastic. And I know there's some paperbacks in yeah, there. We'll so the, the, the note says that some of these might be for me, some might be for you, maybe yeah. even Mini Midnight in there. Oh, we've got... Look at this old school copy of Gone with the Wind. So wow. I have never read Gone with the Wind. Mm -hmm. Gone with the Wind. It's real hard not to lean into that gone. Gone, gone with, the, with wind. the wind. I got to see what year this pressing is. This is um, got to be like 66 maybe I'm guessing. Just pulling okay. a number out of the wild blue yonder. But it doesn't say, which is hmm. unfortunate. Oh, hold on. 68. 1968. I was close. close. Yeah. It's pretty cool when you can look at a book and be within two years of when yeah. it was actually printed. That's that's a skill. So cool. it, I've never read the book many I've useless, seen the movie, but I haven't read the book. I have many useless skills. <laughs> but they aid me here at Serial That's Midnight. true. They are not useless then. Let's see. A Catskill Eagle by oh Robert B. Parker. Yeah. Very cool. Thank nice. you. Michael Crichton. Michael Crichton. A Case of Need. This is one of the Crichton books that I have not read. Um... So that's cool. So now I got that one. Oh, here's another Robert B. Parker. His name's kind of hard to say. It, it is, right? Robert <laughs> B. Parker. Um, Mortal Stakes. Uh, let's see. This must have been before. Do you have your phone in let's here? Let's play a game. Handy. Let's play a game. <laughs> I've implanted inside I, of you. Why don't you guess what year that book came out? And this see book? When it yeah. Let's play that with. Okay. Let's play that game with all the books. So I'm going to say this is 1986, just judging by the overall... Um, uh, so it's origi well, no, oh, it was originally, no, it's originally printed pressing. in 1975, but I don't think. Oh, look, June 1987. 87. Let's play again. Okay. Next book. <laughs> oh my gosh. Battle for the Planet of the Apes. Amazing. 
the novelization of Battle for the Planet of the Apes. And you know, uh, Brian Trash sent us a Planet of the Apes novel as well. Oh yeah. Holy cow. Okay, so this I'm gonna get. I'm try. I don't remember off the top of my head what year this movie is. I'm gonna say this is seventy two. Okay. Uh, I don't know how accurate that is. People at home are like, Battle for Planet of the Apes was obviously seventy three. Oh, you're so close, though. Am, Closer right? than most people would be. All right, have some Star Trek. Books. Nice. Star Trek Crossroads. So I have a, a master list of my Star Trek novels, mm-hmm. um, but they're, they're, I don't have it with me. So yeah. I don't remember which ones I need, but there, I have a lot of Star Trek. The, I do like the original you series novels. Star Trek I collect books. Star Trek novels. Mm-hmm. So, yes. So this is Crossroad, number mm-hmm. 71. Am I have, do I have to guess for these? Not for these, okay. no. I'll let you have a pass on these. Okay. Uh, oh, Dark Victory, a novel by William Shatner. I didn't realize he wrote. Well, he, is, he didn't. Did he ghostwrite them? Yeah, they're <laughs> they're like he gives ideas to people oh, okay. and then they write them. Uh, hmm. yeah, Dark Victory, a novel by William Shatner with Judith and Garfield Reeve Stevens, who hmm. are the they're the they're very famous Star Trek authors okay. and, and authors of other things as well. But I think he was the idea guy. He probably got like final pass on. I was like, okay. I don't like. Page one seventeen. Um, uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Star Trek Preserver. Preserver. Uh, oh, it's another William Shatner. William Shatner novel. Hey, by the way, that's not a knock because he wrote the Tech War series, or he conceived mm-hmm. the Tech War series mm-hmm. in the the late eighties. You know Some people are idea people. They have really good ideas, and then there are people who yeah. are good writers who can take them and put them down. Mm-hmm. On paper. What I was going to say, though, is that Tech War series was fantastic. It was mm-hmm. a great idea. It was such a good idea. Mm-hmm. It became like a series. Uh, there was a series of movies that came mm-hmm. on, on television, like a syndicated movie series. And then, uh, yeah. And then it spun off into like a full, I believe, a full season. So, okay. I see Elvis. Yes. Can we Elvis. have some DVDs now? Elvis, Rare Moments with the King. Fantastic. 58 minutes of rare. Mo- I mean, I love Elvis. Oh, you adore him. I adore him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, it says it contains no music. That's okay. It's the story of mm-hmm. it's rare moments with the king. So this is probably going to be like press conference footage. Yeah, um, that's really cool. Be it's Elvis's appearances on TV and in newsreels from the mm-hmm. 50s to the 70s. Awesome. What a Very what a cool. treat. Thank you. Thematic some some yeah some Christmas themed mm-hmm. Anton Tom Montz, mm-hmm. the house without a Christmas tree. This looks very Hallmarky. I don't remember this movie. I'm not super familiar with um, uh, some of these. Um, heartfelt movies. I'm not either. But this is a great opportunity to get familiar yeah, with this. This is Jason totally. Robards, the great Jason Robards. Um, so that's that's wonderful. And another thematic. Oh my gosh! Christmas in Connecticut with Chris Christopherson. Oh wow, that was right up your alley. Look, like Chris yeah. Christopherson at the like at a chef's table pretending to be a legitimate button-down upstanding respectful guy that's not chris mm-hmm. christopherson he was an outlaw to the day he died mm-hmm. diane cannon original diane cannon tony curtis i oh man this is going on as soon as we look at this i was gonna say you'll tony be watching curtis. this before our video is even over yeah i you know i gotta go <laughs> <laughs> Amazing! I, I'm a collector mm-hmm. of Chris Christopherson, and mm-hmm. this is oh man, Perry fan. Thank you, thank you so much. What is this? Oh, looks like coffee. Coffee Folgers Noir. <laughs> uh, so I haven't had this. I haven't but either. We. I have to say, we love coffee. We love. I would coffee. say we are coffee aficionados. I would say so and too. And we like dark roast coffee absolutely this is what we we drink Mm -hmm. dark roast i had two cups of dark roast this morning Mm -hmm. uh that's exciting and it's just for in case anybody's wondering it's it's it is sealed sealed. i wondered i was like wonder if there's something in there like something else (laughs) like someone tried it and they didn't like it and they were like i'm just gonna send this to cereal at midnight (laughs) that is not what it is no it's not thank you perry fan now there's a whole other package from perry fans so we are going to do you want me to take those things or are they okay right there I think they're okay right here. Okay. So this is the... Oh, well, that one's heavy. This is the last package. Mm-hmm. Is that vinyl? Yes. Oh my gosh. Vinyl. Vinyl. We've been on sort of a vinyl kick around here lately. Yeah, we have. Haven't we? Yeah, the thrift store video that's coming out around the same time that this video mm-hmm. comes out. We've had, we found a ton, a good 25 albums in the last two weeks for like dirt cheap. Okay. I see some notes. Notes. 
So there was a note inside. We have another note there. I gather I see Andy Williams on top of this stack. This 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 cinder is an Andy Williams fan. Uh -huh. We have an, a personalized handwritten recommendations list of mm -hmm. what songs are the best. Nice. Uh, Andy Williams best. So I gather there's just a lot of cool records in here that they wanted us to have. Uh -huh. So I'm going to, let's see. So we have Merry Christmas from Andy Williams. Mm -hmm. We have the Andy Williams Christmas album. Mm -hmm. And we have Andy Williams Christmas mm -hmm. present. And I will say, even though we're opening this after actual Christmas Day, uh -huh. we will still listen to them. Absolutely, we will. I like continuing the Christmas we do music all the way and through, spirit all the way through. All the way through the holiday and right. through the New Year. So, oh, Into so here's... Into the New Year. Okay, hold up. Shout out to the Attic Record Store in uh, Pittsburgh. So nice. Pittsburgh's Attic Record Store. Mm -hmm. Go check them out. Here's all their information. There's their... Um, get my fingers... My, <laughs> my sausage fingers out of the way. Um, so if you live near the Attic, if you live near Pittsburgh... Go check out yeah. vinyl, CDs, sell, buy, trade. Wonderful. Wonderful. Excellent. Oh, you're going to be excited about this one. Do you know who loves Andy Williams? Like, loves Andy Williams? I've, I've talked about this before. Um, Papa Midnight. <laughs> ah. Okay, so it said that in the note, too. Did it? But I okay. didn't realize you had talked about that. So Papa Midnight yeah. is a huge Andy Williams fan. Mm -hmm. So... Maybe we'll get Shout to listen to, to these. Shout out to Papa Midnight. Now, I understand there's like a, a comic character, maybe a Sandman character called Papa Midnight. I oh, really? Remember, but <laughs> he's our Papa Midnight. That's right. Oh. So I told you to be excited you about did. that one. Mm -hmm. uh, to my sweetheart, to you, sweetheart, Aloha, Andy Williams. So this is going to be a Polynesian-themed album. Um, the Hawaiian Wedding Song. Oh, my goodness. Beyond the Reef. Yeah. Wonderful cover. Right up your alley. Oh, my goodness. For oh, sure. Like exciting. Right. More Andy. More Andy Williams. Andy Williams. You've got a friend. Mm -hmm. Try to get the glory. Oh, wow. Check out this Oh, coat. sweet. What a sweet nice. coat. If I just show up one day in a video wearing that, something like that, like a mohair suit. <laughs> or just oh, a fur can't coat. Do it. I was going to do Benny and the Jets. Oh, I can't. can't do it. Mm -mm. I want all your money cereal at midnight. I'm Elton John. It's not a very good Elton John, but. I want all your money. Hand it over. <laughs> Andy Williams' greatest hits. And oh, Andy volume Williams' two. Greatest Hits, Volume 2. Nice. Andy Williams. Andy Williams loves. Oh, look at the belt, man. Sweet. Andy Williams. So you need to love show story. up in a video wearing a belt and like a, that. A mohair suit and, and a, a belt. Mm -hmm. A topaz belt. Or just belt. a fur coat. A turquoise. It can be topaz. like um, Putty from Seinfeld with the fur coat. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> so, this is, my new, this is my new belt now. <laughs> a party from Seinfeld. Oh, here's Herb Alpert. Herb Alpert. So we, there's a, a trio, I think, of Herb Alpert albums. Um, yes. Sweet. Mm -hmm. So South of the War. I mean, I love Herb Alpert and mm -hmm. the Tijuana Brass. Mm -hmm. Herb Alpert, as as I've said in other videos, I love Herb Alpert. Not remotely um, Latin or I think he was Jewish. He was like American born and raised. He's Jewish. Uh -huh. He was just the. It was the gimmick of the '60s to be like, oh, we're uh, the Tijuana Brass. Yeah. Um, which I think is really interesting. And then he kind of just abandoned that. He's still making music to this day. I don't want to jinx anything. He's elderly, but he just put out an album this year. Wow. He's still going. Good for him. Absolutely. And, you know, I was watching an episode of WKRP in Cincinnati last night. And mm -hmm. There was a Herb Alpert Rise poster on the yeah. wall. So Herb Very Alpert's cool. cool. But those yeah. who don't think Herb Alpert's cool, Herb Alpert's totally Try cool. Try again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Try again, friend. <laughs> uh, SRO. Sweet. Nice. And? And Herb Alpert, Going Places. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. I will say this. So I think I have all three of these albums, but in the note, it was like, if you have duplicates of these, just preserve them. So many of my Herb Alpert albums come from thrift stores mm -hmm. and have a scratch yeah. somewhere on the record. Yeah. So um, I, it's nice to I'm have just these. looking at these. These are yeah. cleaner than mine. Mine all mm -hmm. have like seam splits across the top. Yeah. And these are much better conditioned than the ones I have. So it'd be nice to have uh, upgraded. I think you have given me upgraded quality of these records. So thank you very much. Yes, so thank to you. Perry Fan, mm -hmm. thank you so much. Yep, uh, thank you. To, the, to everybody. To everyone for everything mm -hmm. that was given here. Thank you so much. Gosh, we, we appreciate it. We're so grateful. This is always so humbling when we get things like I this. Know. Because it's like... 
You don't ask for anything. You just, it just shows no, up. It just and you're comes. just like, wow. And it's always. People are generous and kind. Absolutely. And it's always so personal mm -hmm. and like so, like, yeah. I thought you'd enjoy this. And they're and right. Like, like, yeah. They know for us. Sure. It's, I it's, know. It's, it's, it's wonderful. You know to... what? Things like this restore our faith in humanity. Yes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Which is a good thing. That is a good thing. It's a good, you know, this is the holiday season as we're recording this video. Mm -hmm. So that's a good message for the holidays is that. Yeah. Um, Love one another, you know, just mm -hmm. be, be great. Be as, as, as said in the wonderful philosophical film, Bill and Ted's Excellent That's Adventure, right. mm -hmm. be, be excellent, excellent to, to each, each other. other. Yep. So we'll end it on that guys. Thank you so much for everyone thank that you. sent something. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you very much. We do appreciate you mm -hmm. so very much. So take care, have a happy and safe holiday season. Mm -hmm. uh, and until next time, we will catch you later. later.